split between Queensryche has gotten pretty bitter as evidenced by the stories of Jeff Tate and the band at each other's throats last year. The posturing continues as both have been permitted to operate as two separate units, both calling themselves Queensryche. While the version of the group with band members and new singer Todd LaTorre has taken their time and will release an album of new material on June 11th when it's ready, Jeff Tate's version has recently announced that an album will drop next month. From the outside, it looks as though Tate is trying to undercut his former bandmates by beating them to the punch, and a speculative insult is also that it's called Frequency Unknown, with the potential album cover picturing the first letter from both words, F-U, separated by a fist. Some press outlets said it smelled of desperation by Tate, and we asked his former bandmates Michael Wilton, Scott Rockenfield, and Eddie Jackson about him undercutting the release of their album. We're not fighting a desperation battle amongst ourselves. We're going to put the record out when it's right. We've signed a great deal with Century Media now. We have huge professional support going on that we have not had for a long time. You know, it's all top of the game stuff for us, so timing for us is just patience. It's going to get out there when it's supposed to be out there and we don't worry about the rush of making it and going to that kind of war. It's not really about a battle to us right now. We've already kind of won the battle in our eyes because we're succeeding on our end. We're feeling good about what we're doing and I think that's the best thing we can do. They also talked about taking their time with the new release and also how fans will react. Sure thing. Well, it's the final stages of the whole thing, you know. The record's done. It's, you know, it's in the the, the end all final you know, aspect of it, you know, artwork and packaging and all that type of stuff. So it's really, um, you know, we're done. We're, you know, we're out touring now. And uh, the release date is June 11th um, and it comes and hits the street. So we just have certain things we got to stay on schedule with. But other than that, you know, the majority is kind of there already. So now it's just the whole team of people getting ready for the big push, you know, the marketing and the, you know, and telling the fans to just be, just calm down because they're going crazy. <laughs> You know, anticipating it, which is excellent, and they're being very gracious about it, but uh, it's fun. It's an exciting time for us, so we're just counting the days as well. One turn of events that may have driven Tate to get his album done quickly could have been that the Queen's Reich fronted by LaTorre signed with Century Media, the company that recently released Tate's solo effort. Tate is releasing his Queen's Reich record via Cleopatra, and it's set to drop April 23rd. Tread, tread.